Step one, of course, to set up your Google My Business profile is to go to google.com slash business. From there, if you hit manage now, you're going to be taken to this setup, which starts with your business name. From there, you're gonna choose the type of business that you are, ensure that this is accurate, the options being online retail, local store, or service business. So if you are a physical location that customers can go to, you're going to wanna hit local store. If you are a service-based business that does not have a physical location that visitors can go to, then you're gonna to wanna to pick service business. For this example, I'm gonna hit service business. From there, you can find your business category search up your business and find what matches closest to you. For this example, I'm going to use real estate agent. And there you go. You can do this step now or you can come back to it, but this is just adding in all the areas that you serve. So I'm gonna add in a couple areas around me. And you could keep adding areas here until you have all of your service areas. Here's where you're gonna enter at minimum your phone number. You can put your website in here now if you'd like, or you can come back to it. We're almost there, so we're gonna hit continue. Now we wanna enter our business address. Ensure this is accurate. You're going to need to verify this later on. So you'll go ahead and enter in your address and go ahead and hit next. From there, you can go ahead and add your services or you can skip this for now. You also have the option to add business hours, of course and customize whether or not you'd like to receive messages. We always recommend leaving this on, adding your business description, but you can come back and do this at any point. I'm gonna skip it for now. Definitely important to put some photos of your business on here, whether that be your logo or photos of yourself. Definitely add those into your profile when you can. Perfect, and now you're ready to continue. You may not be prompted to verify your business profile while you're setting it up. You might be prompted to do it just after, or this can come up during the setup process. But when you do see this notification in the verification video, that's when you're going to want to leverage our checklist. So if you do get hit with this video verification from Google, don't fret. You're just going to want to follow this list and prepare beforehand so you have everything ready to go during that video. Two of the most important details before filming are number one, just to make sure that all of your profile information is accurate. You are going to verify your address in this video. So make sure the address you're showing in the video matches the one you have listed on your profile. You also wanna make sure that you have your address visibility set correctly. If you are show address or hide address, you should show your address if you are a physical location that customers can walk into and you should hide your address if you are a business that customers cannot visit directly. Make sure this is set correctly, otherwise it may impact you getting your business verified. Next, and following this list with the examples that we have here, you are going to go through and prepare your evidence. The types of evidence you're going to need are proof of location. You can display proof of location by being at your physical location and showing that in your video. You'll want to prepare for proof of management. This is proof that shows that you are the owner of the business. Ways that you can display this are unlocking the door if you have a physical business or logging into a customer relationship management system or a point of sale system that you own that just clearly shows the business logo on it as well as everything else listed here. Google also wants to see proof of business operations. This can be your marketing materials. If you have business cards, pamphlets, flyers, if you do have actual equipment like signage, that's also something that you can display. Products you sell or a branded vehicle would also count in this category. And the final piece of proof, which is not required, but definitely a good to have, any official documentation that shows that you are the owner of this business. An example of that would be like your articles of incorporation or a physical or professional license within your industry. Tax registration documents are also a good example for this. If it feels like we just went through a ton of different aspects, then it might feel helpful to put together a quick checklist. That's what we have here. Of course, sub in for your materials. This is a quick bullet point list that will keep you on track and hopefully help you streamline filming your video. So now that we're sure what evidence we're gonna show in our video, I do recommend doing a quick rehearsal, a quick dry run, using the checklist that we put in place before. Remember that this video can only be two minutes long, so you don't have a whole lot of time to show all this evidence. You will have to move through it quickly. Make sure you have everything that you need set up beforehand, and then you can jump into it. 
And now finally, we are able to log in and record our video. This does have to be done within the Google My Business app on their recorder that looks just like this. Make sure, of course, that you are logged in to the correct account if you've got multiple accounts going. It is likely easiest to do this on your phone. Once you hit record, you do have two minutes. We tackle common questions like this all the time in our community. If you're a real estate agent that is looking to grow with Google, I highly recommend checking out the Agent Launch community. Link down below to join. P.S. If you have an idea for a video that you would like to see, or if there is a common Google question that you just can't figure out, drop it below. We love hearing what you want to see, and it might just inspire the idea for our next video. See you on the next one.